Today I'm using Patterning 3 as a MIDI sequencer to control a modular synthesizer. The foundation of making kind of drum sounds on the modular synthesizer is pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to start with a sound source, in this case an oscillator, and um, followed by a VCA, which is a voltage controlled amplifier, which means something that changes the volume of a signal. In our case, the oscillator is this IntelliGel Dixie, and the VCA is actually a Buchla tip-top um, low-pass gate, which is sort of a combination VCA and low-pass filter. So the sounds is the oscillator going through this, this low-pass gate, um, and then the low-pass gate is opened and closed using a envelope. The envelope that I have is a Quadra, IntelliGel Quadra, and it's just sending an attack decay envelope. Hopefully this ends up being interesting to somebody. <laughs> and that's a really basic Someone recipe for me. making kind of toms and bass drums. Um, to make a more hi-hat sound, which is what I'm starting to build right now, is very similar, but instead of using an oscillator, I'm going to use a noise source. So in this case, I use a noise source going into my low-pass gate, and then I follow it up with a filter just so I can have the option to shape that noise sound and not have it be just like a full spectrum white noise. Try to tune this one.
I need are some like effects now. But I don't have any on here. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. One of the ways we can make uh, a drum sound a little bit more punchy and interesting is by adding a pitch envelope. So here what I'm doing is taking a molt of my gate for the kind of bassy sound, and I'm going to use that to trigger a second envelope, which is going to change the pitch of my oscillator. And now by changing the time of my envelope, I can give it this pitch sweep at the beginning of the sound, which makes it much more percussive and much more kick drum-like. By playing with different attack and decay times, um, we can get really different types of effects out of it. One way that I can make the hi-hat pattern more interesting is by changing the envelope on it. So what I'm doing here is actually taking the pitch information from my hi-hat track and using that to lengthen my volume envelope on the hi-hat sound. These sounds right here, the kind of cowbelly type sound is coming from a digital module called Plonk that I admittedly don't know how to edit. So I'm kind of just using the presets on there to try to find something that is acceptable. Let's start over.
Right now what I'm doing is taking the pitch output of my MIDI track and um, randomizing that so that I get a randomly generated med melody on one of my synth voices. Now that I've got sort of a set of sounds that I'm interested in, it's I like to kind of start over and make some music. <laughs> 